While hearing a Suomoto case on the Moby Bridge tragedy that has claimed over 130 lives, the Gujarat High Court today sought answers from the Morbi civic body and slammed the manner in which the contract was awarded for maintenance of the 150-year-old bridge that collapsed on October 30th. For those of you who are unaware of this tragic incident, on October 30th, over 130 people, including women and children, were killed and hundreds were injured after a hanging bridge built over the Machu Dam in Gujarat's Morbi district collapsed, triggering a nationwide outrage. Taking Suomoto cognizance of the disheartening Morbi bridge collapse, the Gujarat High Court had earlier this month asked the state government to file a status report in this case. A PIL has also been filed in the Supreme Court of India, seeking a judicial inquiry into the incident. A bench of Chief Justice Arvind Kumar and Justice Ashutosh J. Shastri today raised its eyebrows over the way in which the contract for renovation of the bridge was granted to the Gujarat-based Ajanta Manufacturing, a part of the Oriva Group. Questioning as to why the contract for maintenance of the bridge was awarded to the Ajanta company without any tender being floated by the Morbi Municipal Corporation, the High Court bench today observed with disdain, and I quote here, State took steps that are expected from it, that is after the incident, but the agreement signed between Morbi Civic Body and a private contractor for bridge renovation is just 1.5 pages. No tender was invited, why contract was granted without inviting any tender. The court also noted that despite the expiry of a 2008 MOU signed between Collector Rajkot and the Ajanta company to operate, maintain, manage and collect rent in respect of the suspension bridge in 2017, the bridge was still continuing to be maintained by the Ajanta company. Perusing the state's affidavit today, the High Court further wondered as to why the Morbi Bridge had been continued to be maintained by the Ajanta Company for a period of two years, despite the expiry of the prior Memorandum of Understanding or Agreement. The bench today further remarked, and I quote again, from 15th June 2017 for a period of two years, Without there being an MOU or agreement or entrustment, the bridge in question was continued to be maintained by Ajanta Company. After the said contract expired, what steps were taken by the official authorities to call for expressions of interest or float a tender for a further period is not clear from the state's affidavit. Significantly today, the Morbi civic body was not represented before the High Court despite being served with a notice back on November 7th. Taking note of the same, the High Court remarked that the civic body is acting smart. Further, the court directed the principal district judge of Morbi to appoint a bailiff to serve a notice to the civic body, informing them that a hearing of the incident would be conducted next on November 16th as well. During the course of the hearing today, the High Court bench also asked the state government as to what action was taken against Morbi Municipal Committee's Chief Executive Officer S.V. Zala and whether any domestic inquiry is contemplated against him. Further, the court also put the following questions before the state government, which are as follows. Number one, under which fresh MOU that is signed in 2020, it is not forthcoming who had the responsibility to certify that the bridge is fit for usage. Number two, when the earlier MOU expired in 2017, what steps were taken to call for an expression of interest or float a tender for a further period? Number three, on what basis the bridge was being permitted to be operated by Ajanta after June 2017 even when the MOU signed in 2008 was not renewed after 2017, though the new MOU was ultimately signed in 2020. Number four, whether there was compliance with Section 65 of the Gujarat Municipality Act by the state government. Number five, why did the state not use its powers under Section 263 of the Gujarat Municipality Act as prima facie the municipality has defaulted which led to an unfortunate incident that resulted in the death of 135 innocent persons. Thank you. I'm Muratra Kabhomik for Live Law. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates.